Green flag flies, and we're racing at Lime Rock Park. O'Gorman, a strong run down towards turn number one. Eric Cattill on the outside. Smedegard looks outside three wide. He can't do it. We're still side by side. Cattill drifts out a little wide. Three wide in the background there, Nate, as we make our way through turn two. Yeah, keeping it nice and tidy there. Uh, Eric's maintaining P2 there, uh, although a strong charge from uh, Robert Thorne there almost snuck inside. Robert Thorne almost had position. Andy Smedegard to his outside, a pinch point there on the entrance to the right-hander onto the no-name straight. The first time onto the backstretch, O'Gorman leads. Gatil runs second. Then it's Thorne, Smedegard, Waldbaum, Hurdle. There's Vidoc in the number one car, the Acura Integra behind him over the uphill for the first time. This Here's Zach Lavoy trailing Luke McGrew onto the front straightaway. Lavoy crosses him over. Now a drag race down the front stretch. Lavoy tucks in line, but it's going to be a challenge to outrun this Corvette down the front stretch. Here he comes, though, to the inside. It looked like he had a run. I'm not sure if he's got quite enough to get it done through Big Ben, but we'll see. If he can maintain position, he might be able to, uh, you know, stick around. And deeper in the field, Lavoy, has he gotten by McGrew this time? Whoa, big lockup into turn one for somebody. Big smoke. That was uh, Kutil who, who locked up there. He was. You could see the car squirming around under braking there. He is absolutely pushing to try and uh, keep up with Tomo, but Tom's kind of checking out just a tiny bit at this point. Six minutes to go. Here is Rob Gagliardo and 898 of Brian Freeze. A little wide there at the exit of the corner. Yeah, that was pretty tight, but uh, kept it tidy. Um, you know, Porsche versus Honda Civic. Not <laughs> often you see that. You don't see that a lot. This time the Porsche will win. We're not done yet, though. Right behind. And, and an S2000, Salil chucked it down the inside at turn one. It didn't quite stick. Now he's going to dive to the inside. Big slide through turn number two, and he hangs on to it. That was all sorts of car control that Salil was using there. Oh, yeah. Kept, kept it clean. Tires getting hot, getting loose, but uh, they're definitely having fun. Yeah, uh, it looks like Tomo has worked by Adam Jabay, uh, Michael uh, Herzen, and Lisa Keys as they tuck into line. Headlights flashing on Cattell's car. He sees the traffic. This could influence the battle for a second here as we get close to the end of the race, and Thorne has seen that in licking his lips. He's ready to pounce for second place. Oh, yeah. If Coteau gets caught up here, it's tough to get by, and it could be exactly what Thorne needs to make it happen uh, get, as we get into to the, the outside of Lisa Keys too wide Cattill trying to get past the lap traffic to the inside of Herzen now at turn four and Cattill clears the traffic so does Thorne and that was very well done by everybody involved Tom O'Gorman will continue his dominant season he will win at Lime Rock Park Cattill and Thorne in an epic battle to the checkers side by side I, they might have overlap but Cattill will hang on for second place Thorne in third and Smedegard, Waldbaum fourth and fifth. What an incredible battle. Park. Race two at Gridlife Circuit Legends, wheel to wheel racing, power to eight. We're going green here at LRP. Late green flag, and now we're racing at Lime Rock Park. Here we go, Nate. All right, let's watch these guys go into turn one. They're going to try to hook the inside. Looks like we're going to be too wide. Robert Thorne on the outside now. O'Gorman tucks it in tight. Cattill watching the two battle for the lead. Can Thorne keep overlap at the exit of two? He cannot. Has to tuck in for the left-hander. Waldbaum to the inside of his team owner, Andy Smedegard, behind him. Thorne still putting pressure on O'Gorman up front. Front assembly on O'Gorman's car is not uh, wobbling around. There is one car stuck at the exit of turn one. It's kind of a bad spot for it, but it's, it's in the runoff, so he might be able to get away with a local yellow. But the challenge is, that's a 363 of Don Louis, by the way. The challenge is, if there's a local yellow there, where do you pass around Lime Rock Park? Yes, turn one is definitely the number one passing zone around here, and you have to set it up on the, on the downhill. So that's definitely going to be getting with people's minds. And, and, you know, for the guys further back, we may have some drivers slowing down when they see that yellow. So they Had a serpentine belt come off the car yesterday. He went to uh, an auto shop, got a replacement. He's back on track. Full course yellow here in GLTC Race 2 to retrieve the stricken 363. That's actually Nick Zhang in the car down there at turn one. Yeah, There's looks another like have two one cars involved. off. Yep. And that looks like Rob Gagliardo potentially in the Porsche Cayman ST car. Now, these cars are far enough apart. They might be separate incidents entirely. Yeah, I mean, turn one is the, is the turn here. You're going to drive off on your own, especially on the start. And there's the green flag. We're racing again in GLTC at Lime Rock Park. A very slow paced restart. Here comes Cattill to the outside of Robert Thorne towards turn one. Here he comes around the outside for second place. And look at Smedegard to the inside now of Cattill as Cattill left the door open. And the 212 is going to sneak on through and try to battle him for third. And Cattill following Thorne. Thorne Gotta washes run. out. Here comes Cattill. Thorne's in the dirt. Cattill and Thorne side by side for the race. Uh, the second place position, and Cattill's got him. Cattill's got second place as they drag race towards one. And here comes Smedegard now to the inside of Thorne. 
Still door to door now for third. Thorn dropped one spot, now two. Smedegard advances to third place. Katil to second. And Waldbaum watching all of it out the windshield. And he wants to move up into fourth or maybe third. Race now for fifth as the one car drops back in the slipstream. Hurdle watching it out the windshield. Great battle now for fourth place as they all head into turn one. Waldbaum to the inside of the 180. Now battling him for fourth place. They almost touch the 90 to the inside. Tires on the curb. Still door to door as they head to turn three, the left hander. And Thor is going to try to hold him off in the left hander. It looks like he's got it. Vidoc to the inside of Waldbaum now, through the left-hander, still door-to-door -door now as they hit turn four. Waldbaum's got preferred line. Vidoc's going to get out into the marbles, and here comes Hurdle now. Drag racing, a 370 versus a, an Acura Integra towards the uphill. Yeah, it just shows how close these guys are. You won one offline move, and you're you're losing three positions. It's really great to see. Side by side through the uphill. Now Vidoc recompletes the pass. Hurdle drops in line behind him. Here comes Tyler Pappas. He thought about it, but thought better of it. Zach Lavoy now right behind. Sees those two scrapping. He wants a part of that fight. All now for eighth place as they head down the downhill. Great battles for position all through the field. And look at Dustin Barty and Eric Jensen. Honda Civic versus LSF. Oh, Russ Barty off course at Big Ben. Uh, nice save there. Kept it back on track. Good heads-up driving from the guys around him. Luke McGrew took advantage of that and slotted into position. Matan all over Alessandrini in the left-hander. Now back into turn four. Alessandrini leads Matan Rosenberg. This is the battle for the top ten in GLTC. They come down the hill for the final time. Tom O'Gorman for the 17th time this season will pick up the checkered flag. Distances Cattill. Eric Cattill battled for second. He got it. Two for two. Second places for Cattill this weekend. Smedegard third. Thorn dropped to fourth. Then Waldbaum Vidoc, Hurdle, Pappas, Lavoie, and Alessandrini, a top 10 runner again in GLTC Rosenberg. And then right behind him, that is Eric Thompson in that 88 Celica. Great run for Thompson in the 165. Yeah, that's Waiting for the green flag, and there it is. Green flag flies, and we're racing at Lime Rock Park. Robert Thorne immediately jumps. Driver's left, three wide down towards turn number one as they all storm down. Thorne and Cattill side by side. Still three wide as Thorne goes around the outside. Yeah, Thorne's out there in the marbles, but he's hanging on to it, and let's see if he can... Uh, uh, he just pulls ahead of him, but... He's Here he comes. Inside. Big dive on Tomo into turn three in the left-hander. And Robert Thorne trying to go to the lead. Tomo's carrying 6% extra weight from his wins earlier in the weekend. And they're still drag racing door-to-door. -door. Man, that's some good, good tight racing. And both guys are being super heads up and leaving each other room. And that's awesome to see. By side, just drag racing. And he just pulled the car ahead of him. So... Uh, let's see how they do in the corners here. He's carrying rewards weight from his wins earlier this weekend. It's going to hurt him. Now Thorne goes around the outside. O'Gorman's front bumper is kind of buffeting up and down there. Still nose to tail now as looks like Thorne's going to tuck in tight. Smetagard wide, dropped a tire in the dirt. Look at this battle for the top spot, though, in GLTC. Oh, Tomo slips, and wiggle. Thorne is there. Yeah, I mean, he was right there, you know, trying to capitalize on that wiggle, but there's just not enough room and not enough time to make it happen there. Let's see if he can get a little bit of a run here. But again, Thorne's going to chase him over to driver's right. Nose to tail. Wallbaum drops a tire. Hurdle approaching from behind. Here comes Thorne with a big sweep to the left and a late dive on the brakes. I'm waiting for Thorne to give him a fake here and uh, do that big pop out. Uh, wait for O'Gorman to go back onto the racing line and then dive in at the last minute under break. Let's see if he comes up with that move. I, I feel like that could be the only spot where he can get him. Uh, O'Gorman can just hold him up in these corners here because there's only really one line. So he can just kind of back off the throttle a little bit and then get a run out of this corner and have that little bit of advantage going into the uphill. Right now, Kevin Lero in the 68's just behind. And here's Dustin Barty and Shukla going at it. And Eric Meadows, Zach Lavoie, and Eric Thompson all fighting for position. This is a little bit further back in the field for about 19th place, but they're still racing just as hard. Meadows with a huge Whoa, run on Lavoie. Ta tap there, too. So he had a big run, and he just gave him a little tap to do that. Into turn one, big lockup from a car in front of Lavoie, but he sneaks by Kevin Zhu. That was, I think, the 898 of Brian DeFries that chucked his big Civic down the inside, and it worked. He moves forward and has Zach Lavoie now trailing him through turn number three, oh, a wiggle. big slide for DeFries. <laughs> yeah, front wheel drive sliding around. That's uh, something I'm not too uh, familiar with. Whoa, a little squeeze there as Lavoie slips up, and Kevin Zhu's on the attack. Now this is a Civic sandwich, S2000 in the middle. They continue to battle door to door. Lavoy, DeFries, Zoo, Eric Meadows, and more. Here comes Eric Thompson with a big lunge and Rob Gagliardo. We saw him have some issues in race two. We're three wide down the front straight. Into turn one. Meadows on the outside, Thompson on the inside. This is GLTC at its finest. A big cloud of smoke. That was Salil Shukla that went off in the dirt. DeFries now drops some tires as Thompson works his way around the outside. Yeah, these guys are having a blast, man. I mean, they're not up front, but it doesn't even matter because they are just like wheel to wheel, stacked up, double wide through the corners. It's pretty awesome. Um, 
Hopefully he'll get out of the way here. Here comes Tomo. He's stuck. Oh, yep, he got stuck. So that, that's going to allow Thorne to really put some pressure on now. Here comes Robert Thorne right to the rear bumper. A minute and 50 seconds remaining. The lap traffic has played into this race, and Tom is feeling the pressure from Robert Thorne. Both of these drivers have experience in Pirelli World Challenge at various levels and touring cars at various levels. Tomo and Robert Thorne have wins to their name in professional racing, and they're here at Lime Rock Park in GLTC doing battle at the Bull Ring to work hard for this one more lap traffic ahead but Tom will do it again Robert Thorne just needed a couple more laps and a little more luck to get by him Tom wins Thorne second Smetagard in third Cotill in fourth then Ronnie Vidoc in the number one comes home in fifth that was a great battle with him and Walbum all the way to the checkered flag and look at these two teammates celebrating what was a fantastic race up our yeah. final race of the weekend a nine car invert from race three the pace car takes the right hand turn onto the pit lane entry and for the final time this weekend we go racing in GLTC. Luke McGrew on the pole and on his outside, Tyler Pappas in the gray BMW. Time to go racing and we are. Green flag flies and we're racing at Lime Rock. Look at Robert Thorne. Three wide on the outside of Andy Smedegar. Can he squeeze up left side tires in the dirt as they head to turn one? Four wide for a moment. You cannot do that. They're still four wide through turn one. Wow, that is tight. That is an awesome jump by Thorne to get that far up ahead already. Uh, looks like he's battling for about a four-way battle for third. Man, Matt Walbaum had to back out. He was three wide with Thorne and Austin Hurdle, who slips and slides. McGrew still side-by-side -side with Pappas for the lead. BMW versus Corvette. Look at this two-by-two-by-two by two by two as they come out of four. It's impressive with Pappas pull, uh, staying alongside the Corvette. That Corvette, you'd think, would have more torque, might pull out. Uh, but I know that uh, Tyler has a ton of laps here and a lot of experience. He's fairly local. so It pays off. Yeah. He hangs on to the lead, and now McGrew is under fire from behind as they crest the hill over turn five. We continue to race some, a spectacular start here as they sweep on into West Bend. McGrew under fire now. Is that Robert Thorne who's made us all the way up to second place now if he can get by McGrew? Fantastic start, getting past him on the downhill, and uh, he's gonna. Tyler's going to be running for his life here, I think. He, he better be. Look at O'Gorman now getting by wall bomb. One lap complete, and the timing and scoring tells the picture. They hit the timing and scoring loop. Pappas leads. Thorne second. McGrew third. O'Gorman into fourth place. An unbelievable climb. Here comes Tomo now looking for third in one lap up six positions. Closed in on Thorne now for second place, and is immediately going to dive to the inside into West Bend. That's not a place you can typically make a pass, but he's going to go for it. Side by side, he slips, and Thorne has to go a little wide to leave the space for him. They're drag racing down the hill to the downhill now, and Pappas is still trying to run for his life. If O'Gorman gets to second, it's only a matter of time. Yeah, that was really tight. Great, great heads-up driving by both drivers there. Uh, Thorne manages to stay ahead. I didn't think he was going to be able to. Yeah, I was really impressed. O'Gorman slots back into third place now. Pappas, Thorne, O'Gorman, Smedegar. Look at this mess on the run down to turn one. Waldbaum, Luke McGrew, Eric Cattill, and looks like Austin Hurdles in the mix now with the 370Z. Two by two still a couple laps into this race. Cattill riding the curbs on the inside. Five Dock behind, jumping the curbs as well, door to door with the 370Z. Yeah, and it looks like the leaders are checking out a little bit here. Pappas is still running strong, which is impressive on that. Look at this down the front stretch. He's going to go defensive. Thorne sweeps to the inside for the race lead. Here comes Robert Thorne, drag racing into turn one. Yeah, he got it. It's kind of funny seeing that. Uh, Look at O'Gorman. He goes, dives down the inside in turn one and steals a spot from Pappas. He caught him sleeping and is now drag racing for the first spot. Here he goes. He takes the lead away into three. But here comes Thorne back to the inside. That was impressive. That, you know, just perfect timing and just seized on the opportunity. And, and then how he takes the lead onto the uh, no-name straight. Man, look at that. That was just unbelievable driving. Pappas left space for Thorne. O'Gorman saw the hole and just chucked the car down there, and it stuck. Here's uh, Smedegard looking at Pappas, but this is the battle. The Corvette versus the EG Civic into turn one. Yeah, it's uh, two very different vehicles. Uh, it looks like cotill has got a little better line on there on the inside. Let's see if Whoa. he can hold it. They touch there just maybe a smidge through Big Bend, and Cotill's got it. McGrew slots in behind him. Pole sitter for this race couldn't quite hang on. Austin Hurdle now has, wow, big slide for Cotill. Rear end rotating big time on that car. Oh, yeah, he's pushing it. Uh, I imagine he has the rear end pretty lively there. Stretch. And for fourth place, make this third place, Smedegard and Pappas. Pappas with a big moment. And he drops some tires in the left and is now going to try to run him side-by-side side through the left-hander. And Smetagard should be able to complete this pass, but Pappas still has overlap at turn four. And Smetagard is going to use the long way around and drive away into third. McGrew goes defensive. Hurdle's going to stay track left. 
McGrew was fighting issues with this car all weekend, a serpentine belt, then an overheating engine. Then he had to start at the back of the field. But here comes Vidoc to the inside of Hurdle. Will Hurdle leave him the space in turn one? That's the way we do it here in GLTC. Yes, he does. Door is still open for Vidoc to sweep to the inside, and that lightweight Integra has a little bit of overlap at the exit of Big Ben. Now he's going to try the crossover here, maybe, maybe for turn four. Yeah, look at Pappas now with pressure from Matt Walbaum. Pappas goes defensive. Good line there. Walbaum's going to have to go the long way around now. He's got a little damage to his right front bump. I wonder if he's had some contact with somebody, and he goes a little wide, but can he hold this line into turn three? The left-hander, Cattell's coming as well. Yep, it's uh, it's all, all eyes on Pappas as he uh, tries to hold off these Hondas. Ooh, wall bomb a little wide. Pappas bobbling on the binders there, and Cattell trying to join the club here. He runs six. The top five is right in front. Pappas with a huge slide there, and Cattell thinks better of going side-by-side side for the moment. But that uh, BMW is struggling with rear grip right now. Yeah, absolutely. You would think uh, with that that sort of a mistake, I guess you could call it a mistake, or that, that issue that uh, maybe Kato could get a run, but there's just no room there. Yeah, Pappas is really out of control. The rear end squirming behind that car as he tries to find grip here with just about four minutes remaining this race. Yeah, that is not a place that's easy to go side by side or a place that you'd really want to. That's just such high speed, such high commitment. And now they run door-to-door -door down the front stretch. Cattell looking for fifth on Tyler Pappas. He has established his overlap and a textbook pass for P5 for Eric Cattell in the hybrid racing EG. Out the windshield anticipating some side-by-side, -side. and here it is. Door-to-door -door into turn one. Fidoc on the outside in the Integra. Hurdle on the inside in the Nissan Z. Look at this battle for position for eighth place. Really, really good. Uh, see if, if, if Fidoc can stay there, maybe force uh, Austin to the outside of the left-hander. He might have it. Great racing here. Vidoc tucks it in tight for the left-hander. Hurdle leaves him plenty of space on the inside. He's still got overlap for turn four. They're still door-to-door -door here at Lime Rock. This time, Vidoc clears him and moves into eighth place. A fantastic representative battle here in GLTC. And Lavoy used that opportunity to eat up a bunch of time. Oh, yeah, as those guys are battling, anybody behind is... To West Bend. Wallbaum's got lap traffic. This could oh. certainly influence the end of the race here. O'Gorman will win the event four for four. Wallbaum dives for, through the lap traffic, and Cattell has to give it up. He can't get there as they come to the checkers. That got caught out, and, and there's nothing you can do there. You know, uh, Wallbaum really... Uh Got, got perfect timing, ultimately. Number four, once again, Tom O'Gorman from ASM with Hawk Performance. Robert Thorne from ASM, second place. Andy Smedegard, third. Matt Waldbaum, fourth. Erica Till, fifth. Then Pappas, McGrew, Vidoc, Hurdle, and Lavoie. The rest of your top ten. How about Zach Lavoie sneaking in there for a top ten right at the end of the race? Yeah, absolutely fantastic. And that you know, top ten, you know, say, oh, it's P10. It's not a one. You know, not on the podium. But that's, you fight for every shred. Yeah. And that's still a very good